Hey, this is Sam Wavertron, and I'm here with the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Autobot Skids Review. Here we have Skids in his concept Chevy Beat Mode. It's a very nice looking car with this bright green, as you can see, and some black. Um, on the sides here, you see these nice uh, tinted translucent windows. Now, I would have preferred these to be black because, as you can see, you have all those hinges and robot kibble in there, which would have been uh, better off uh, where you couldn't see them. But it still is very nice. He has these painted on uh, skid marks that really match his uh, name and his character. A nice mini spoiler on the back here. Another uh, translucent window. Two painted on red um, taillights. The uh, Chevy logo. His name skids on his license plate. He rolls fairly well. Another translucent window. Nice black mirrors. These cool um, slanted off clear headlights, nice painted grille, Chevy logo, black hood. Just a very, very nicely detailed and overall just an awesome looking car. Now to transform this figure, first thing you're going to do is take out these side panels here and bring them down. This will create his legs. Now the transformation for the legs is very cool looking. First thing you're going to do is... Uh, pull down the feet like that and rotate them so the pointy part is facing forward. Then you're going to fold down the window like so. Now you see this uh, double hinge right here and a hole here and a peg there. Well, you're just going to hinge it around and peg that into place like so. Once you get that done, it'll sort of look like a walking car. Now you're going to come to these back uh, wheels take these out um, this will become his arms now you can rotate them around and just have the arms sit in the back like so Do the same thing on the other side just gonna take this out and rotate the arm back now you can come from the front separate this black part from right here now you're gonna um, take this whole back suspension part and rotate it 180 degrees like so now you can flip out his little head there's a peg here and a hole there just peg that together like so now split apart the arms you can see those two holes in the back here and there for the arms and there is two pegs one there and one there. What you're going to do is angle it just right and peg those holes um, onto the peg. Now come to the back, fold in this part. Now you're going to push this down and push these in like that. So now you have that. Now this part is going to come over and cover the butt part. Now you can see this hole behind his head right there and the peg right there. Now you're just going to peg that peg into the hole. Once that is done, you come to the front and take this piece, this bumper, and just push it in. Now just position the arms to your liking and fold these pieces up so the peg is facing up and now you have Revenge of the Fallen Skids in his robot mode. Now this is just a very awesome looking robot mode. You can see he's just a very zany and crazy character with this uh, funny looking head with the black hair, the uh, one silver eye and one black eye now you can see he has his buck teeth, which is a very funny touch and those funny looking pointy ears. Now one tooth is supposed to be gold and the other black, but they didn't paint it there, which can be a downside, but it's really nothing because just the amount of detail on him already just looks really awesome. You can see all the gears and um, amount of detail on the arms. As you move down, you see um, the chest also matches the face with that buck tooth uh, looking uh, part right here. You can see he has a nice silver Autobot symbol on the crotch and just really detailed all around. For his articulation, the head 
rotates 360 degrees and goes up and down. The arms rotate 360 degrees, go out from the body, back in. Uh, this part up here rotates 360 degrees. He bends at the elbow, rotates at the upper part of the arm, and the hand can go uh, that way and that way. It is hindered by these tiny parts on the arm. The legs can go forward, back, out, in. He bends at the knee, rotates 360 degrees at the knee. The foot can rotate 360 and pivot up and down a little bit. Also on the right hand, he does have some uh, finger articulation. The four fingers can move like that and the thumb can move too. Alright, now Skates has two gimmicks in his robot mode. The first one is, as you can see, this right hand is a lot bigger than the left one. And it has a button right here. So, and it has kind of like a punching action. When you press the button, the hand springs out. And also, this piston right here comes out and it kind of looks like a gun. So that's a pretty cool gimmick. But the next one is one that I really, really like. When you push in on the grill right here, all these panels go up and his head moves up and down. It's kind of like a herp derp 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 kind of thing. And that's really funny because I can imagine him doing that because of his crazy and uh, uh, lack of intelligence that he has. So it's just a really cool... Now game. overall, I highly recommend this figure. He has an awesome car mode as well as an amazing looking robot mode. Just the craziness of this character can convince you to pick him up. If you can only get one deluxe figure, I highly recommend Skids. Thanks for watching. This is Sam Wavetron, signing out.